Hey guys, okay, I'm here. We've got some people. We have Christina, we have Camp 789. Camp, can you just leave your first name so I don't call you Camp? Um, we've got, okay, let's just give people a minute or two and then we'll get started. But in the meantime, I'm gonna crack open my Diet Coke. Can you guys let me know if you are hearing me? That would be great. Just let me know if you can hear me. I think I've got the tech issues sorted out. But uh, I'm just gonna give you guys a second to let me know if you can hear me. Okay, let's just get this open. Perfect. Type, let me know. Perfect. Okay, guys, just let me know if you can hear me and see me, and then we will get started. But in the meantime, okay, yay! Okay. This is good. I did not enjoy our tech issues last time. That was terrible. Okay, let me just get cozy. Uh, so one thing I have done recently, I'm um, hoping you kind of see this chair. It's like velvety, it's really soft. Um, I did buy this chair, uh, basically, so I could comfortably sit like this. I'm just gonna try if I put my thing up one more level. Is that better? What do you think, was that better or before? I think this is kind of good. That's a good view. Perfect. Okay. Well, uh, before we get started, just wanted to answer that quick question. So, Christina, um, BoxyCharm is in U.S. and Canada. Better? Good. I like this better. I think this is good. Got some cute little flowers behind me I picked up today. I've got peonies and rinoculuses. Um, but yeah, it's available in the U.S. and Canada. But in true Canadian shipping fashion, uh, we have to pay for shipping and it's in US dollars. So one of the reasons, um, as we examine these boxes, and then I kind of have a sad story about my FabFitFun pop-up order. Oh, it makes me so upset. <laughs> but um, one of the reasons that I am so critical of subscription boxes, critical of what I get in my boxy, is I am paying for it in US dollars. And yeah, that, that adds up. And the shipping, and I just don't wanna pay for things that I don't love. So yeah, anyways, let's take a sip of Diet Coke. And let's plug my phone in just so, just so we have a backup in case tech doesn't like me. But I think we're gonna be good. Okay, and then we will start ripping these boxes apart. Here we go. Phone is charged. Yeah, so anyways, that's just why I'm very critical about what I receive in my, fix my hair, my boxy charms. I'm gonna send one tech to let my friend know that I'm on. Live on, live, okay, I'm gonna text my one friend and then we are down. Live on YouTube if you want to join. Okay. You know, Guys, just so you know, like, even though I start getting ready for this, like, I mean, I started, like, my hair and my makeup at, like, 5.30, but even though, um, even though I, like, start, <laughs> even though I start getting ready, it's, like, the last 20 minutes of prepping, like, prepping my background, prepping the boxes, making sure that there's no addresses, it's, like, it just disappears in seconds, and I'm just, like, one second, I'm, like, oh, I should have a glass of water to go live. And then the next second, I'm like, oh my goodness, it is 7.57 and I'm going on at 8. So I'm going to send two more texts and then we are good. Okay, send that one. And okay, one more message and then we are good to go. Okay, so yeah, the hair, I always use my Dyson Airwrap. I did have somebody ask. Um, for some Dyson videos. So we are going to do more of those. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, I just have to message one friend. Okay. Sorry. And then we are good to go. And I have a special announcement about our next live. I have a special friend joining us for that one. And we have a really special idea so I'm excited okay one last message and then we are good to go okay let's start on these boxes 
Um, yeah, so I'm always using my Dyson Airwrap. I'm obsessed with it. I love how it turns out. Um, yeah, it's, it is super expensive. Like it's about $800 in Canada. Um, I do talk about how I saved a lot of money on it, buying it at Shoppers Drug Mart. I still do think it's worth it, but be an informed shopper. So I have the five boxes here on the top of the regular boxes on the bottom are like premium and upgrade and stuff. I'm hoping you guys can tell me what's inside of it. Um, off the bat before I dig in consistently one of my biggest complaints with BoxyCharm and I have a lot, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this whole journey, but consistently one of my biggest complaints with BoxyCharm is that it's like the boxes, it feels like they just arrive so randomly. And then when they come, I'm like, is this October? Is it December? I don't know. Is it my add-ons? No idea. Um, so we're gonna kind of open a box and then I'll complain a bit. We'll open a box, we're gonna kind of spread it out. So let's start with this one. It is a BoxyCharm. Good. my address is on the back so that way you guys can't see it uh let's see i did kind of pre-cut them all okay so this one on the inside it says boxy charm which means that it is the regular boxy what month no idea okay so um if anyone hi maria welcome if anyone like knows what month these are from let me know because Honestly, it's always like a mystery. Okay, so first up, we have a brand I'm happy to see. This says Luxie. It's sort of like a suede. Luxie is a great brush company. Ooh, I feel like this might have been January or something. I feel like this is kind of like Lunar New Year with the red and gold. Yeah, the boxes are always so late. They're terrible with tracking. Okay, so yeah, so these are all Luxie brushes. Luxie used to be like the thing. Like everyone on YouTube had a code. It was always hawking them. Never gave me a code, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, nice little brush set. Uh, I like Lexi brushes. I don't love them. It's, I'm kind of on the fence. So I overall, I like them. Yeah, they should put a flyer, but why would they do that? Why on earth? Why would they be that helpful? Um, yeah, but there are good things about them too. It's, a, it's an eternal debate. So for me and my brushes, I love synthetic face brushes like these, but I really don't like synthetic eye brushes. So I'm not sure. On one hand, because it's Lexi, I want to keep this and enjoy it. On the other hand, it'd be great to gift or great to put in giveaways. So I don't know. We're gonna, but I'm happy. I'm happy to receive this. Like it's a good brand, useful product. So this is good. Probably has a high value. Although I'm always skeptical in subscription boxes when it has like a high value because it's like, especially when a lot of items are made for the subscription box. And so it's like, is it actually worth that, or did you just slap your label on it? Mm. Mm, just, just saying. Okay. So next up, we have a palette, and I'm nearly always, always disappointed by the palettes in Boxy Charms because they always just feel so random. Like, so Boxy and Ipsy are now owned by the same company, and I feel like Ipsy palettes are always just palettes I actually want to wear in the Boxy Charms. I'm like, who designed this garbage? So on that cheerful note, this is from Hip Dot, which is of course a brand I've never heard of. I also find the palettes in Boxy I've never heard of the brand. On the back, it's paraben-free, talc-free, mineral oil-free, animal testing-free, PETA, and vegan. So, um, it's a green, it's a green, I'm thinking it's going to be green. Who knows? Okay. Hmm. What do you think? On one hand, I don't really have a blue palette. But on the other hand, like, I probably don't own a blue palette because I thought I got really bold today. This is like a mauvey gray. I thought that was really, really iconic there. So yeah, like the na shade names are nice. I just don't know if I get a little wear out of it. And that's kind of my problem is that oftentimes with BoxyCharm, it'll have a really high like value, but it doesn't have a high value to me because I guess the palette is supposed to be kind of a star item in the box. And then it's like, I'm not really into it. Okay, we've got two other items. Ooh, okay, one of these, I don't know what I'm gonna do with, okay. So next up from Iconic London, I'm thinking that since you already got an eyeshadow palette, this is probably like a face palette. Yeah, look, look at that. Look who I was right. Okay, oh, okay, we're gonna talk. Okay, this is good to know. So just like a blush, bronzer, highlighter palette from Iconic London. Looks fine, doesn't really. Like if you don't have a ton of makeup in your collection, you'd probably appreciate this. I'm just like, eh, this won't be rehomed. Hey, welcome. 
Welcome to the party. We're getting wild tonight. Okay, we'll talk about hip dot in a moment. And then we have a pretty good item, actually. Brazilian Kiss from Sol Janeiro, a tinted lip butter in the shade Keep It Rio, which is kind of like a nudie pink. So here's my challenge with this brand. I don't like their body cream, but I like their hair mask. But one of my dearest friends is obsessed with this brand. So do I keep the lip balm for myself because it's neutral and pretty, or do I share? I don't know. We're gonna not we're not gonna make that decision today. Okay, so let's talk about hip dot. Okay, let's just put this down. So whenever I'm filming, I have about 85,000 wires like everywhere. It's kind of a tripping hazard. Okay, okay, so I see someone's commenting here about hip dot makes a ton of collabs. SpongeBob, Hello Kitty, My Chemical Romance. Okay, so I did see the SpongeBob collab. Okay, this makes sense. Um, honestly, it might be a brand that's more accessible in the states. I tend not to pay attention to a lot of brands that aren't that aren't available unless they're like really good, like really hyped. Unless they're like like basically if they're not available in like Sephora, Shoppers, um, if they're not available somewhere in Canada where I can purchase it in person or with free online shipping, I tend to not really look into it because it's like, even if the product is great, you know, like I was looking at, um, what was it? Flower Beauty, right? So Flower Beauty, like you, you can get it at Walmart, I think. Um, but I was looking at order, but like it's like a pared down collection. I was looking at ordering online and I was into it. Like I have a US shipping address to get around some of these things. It's how I ship some things and like I was looking at it and like the shipping to can't like it was just it they wouldn't take a Canadian credit card I was like come on Flower Beauty take my money um love the hype the Brazilian brand has in Portugal it's not that big a deal interesting see I think the other thing that's really cool about YouTube is that we're able to connect with people who live in different countries and sort of understand what different people enjoy Okay, it feels like a teen TikTok thing to me. Yeah, I, I believe it. I mean, whether it's by Hip Dot or ColourPop or Urban Decay, like, I'm not going to really wear a blue palette. I did buy one piece of blue eyeshadow today, actually, at Choppers. If I can easily reach it, I will show you. Can I easily reach it? Let's find out. This is my Mother's Day card for my mom. No, I already put it away. Okay, well, that's too bad. Anyways, I did buy a blue cream shadow because I have an idea for a look I want to do, but yeah, and like, yeah, like again, and I want to support indie brands. Like I genuinely want to help small businesses. I want to do this, but when you can't test the quality yourself in person, when you know there's going to be duties, like, okay, actually I'm not wearing it right now. I have a necklace that I ordered off Etsy. It is a, um, it's a Chanel button that's being repurposed into a necklace and I had to pay like $40, the next like a hundred bucks and then I had to pay $40 in duties. I was like, okay, so let's get on to our next box, which again, we have no idea what month it is. Boxy charm. This is a regular box and it looks identical inside. And of course, oh, we have something. We have a card. Okay. Sweet treats. April, I guess, kind of looks like Easter. Yes, okay. Yes, we're gonna get to that about Charlotte. Like, how do you think I got a Charlotte collection like this? How do you think it happened? We will discuss. Okay, so let's see. I feel like this is, yeah, this is April, okay. So, we have a Terre de Mer body cleanser. Okay, off the bat, um, one, I've never heard of this brand. That's like a recurring theme in BoxyCharm. But two, like, I have body wash, okay? I own body wash. I buy body wash. Have a fair bit of it. I'm going to sip a Diet Coke. Also, I don't know if this is weird, but I always put my straw, like, in the little clippy thing. I don't know. Just a thing I do. Learned it from my grandma. Okay, so I have body wash. And I'm not going to buy designer body wash. I'm not at that stage in my life. Um, probably never will be there. I'm not going to order body wash from some random online company. I basically go to shoppers. I'm like, oh, soft soaps on sale. Cool. Look at my cupboard. Oh, I have a body shop one from the last time they had a sale. Great. So I'm not like over the moon to get a body wash. 
Just saying. I'm more I'm more interested in things that go on my face, you know? Okay, so next up. So that one I'm just kind of like, eh, on. Okay, so this is from Dragon Beauty. Okay, I'm, I don't want this to be super negative, but this is also kind of a roast. So we have a color corrector. Hi, Momi, welcome. Excited to have you here. Okay, so this is from Dragon Beauty and it is a lavender color corrector. I don't use like normal color correctors. I honestly, like, I'm like a beauty YouTuber and I, I wouldn't even know how to use this. I, I'm sure I'd figure it out, but like, wh why? Also, I really personally, deeply, deeply am deeply uninterested. Okay, we'll get to that one too. I am deeply uninterested in influencer brands. Uh, I'm not, like, I actually, I try to pay as little attention as possible to big YouTubers. Like, you know, for big YouTubers, like, I, yeah, but, like, purple. Like, if my eyes, if my under eyes are purple, why would I put purple on top of it? Like, I know that under eye corrector, if it's, like, orange or peachy combats my circles, but I think that's just going to give me worse circles. Like, okay, so I have effectively zero interest in watching people Generally speaking, with more than about 100,000, 200,000 subscribers, I love Alexandra Ryan with her unboxing. She's so fun. I really like Ali Glines, but just personally, and like, I don't know, maybe one day I'll have like 100,000 subscribers. Don't be like, I'm still down to earth. But I just, yeah, okay, yes, I like Samantha March. We can talk about that too. Um, I have basically zero interest in people with over like 150, 200 thousand subscribers especially when they're in the million mark I'm just like I'm sorry we have nothing in common like they don't feel like a normal person who loves beauty which is I think how I think of myself they they kind of just feel like a celebrity at that point and I just anyways I have like zero interest in influencer brands because then it just kind of feels like they're like hawking I don't know like collabs are different like Samantha March and Ofra beautiful collab I did not buy the eyeshadow because of the previously mentioned shipping duty world but I did make an order to get her first collab I'm just I'm not a huge purple eyeshadow person but I'm very happy for her like I love it when a youtuber like collabs with an established brand but I always just kind of question the quality of like a youtuber especially I don't know I I'm just not really into it. I'm not going to chase after it. So anyway, so that's what I got from Dragon Beauty. I'm going to save the best for last. Okay, from Trend Beauty, which to me just feels like a brand made for subscription boxes. We have Unicorn Dust, which I think is something that my nine-year-old baby cousin would enjoy. Yeah, like fantasy mystical dream. Okay, like it's cute. Um, but like, I'm going to, I'm just going to stick to my Charlotte. Like, I'm actually, I'm so glad that my little cousins are not watching me tonight. I don't think they're going to a YouTube channel, but I have three beautiful little cousins. Um, they're kind of like nine to 11 ish and maybe a little younger. They're, I'm really bad with kids ages, but they are wonderful kids. And I'm taking a bunch of my old Ipsy bags. I'm going to like mail them a little gift pack. Okay. I will return to the discussion in a moment. Now we have from Touch and Soul, which is a brand I haven't made my mind up. It's their Icy Sherbert Primer. It has a cooling effect. Okay, so this looks pretty and substantial. Um, I've seen this brand in a lot of subscription boxes. It kind of feels like it's high-end, but I don't know. A cooling primer is just not really something I'd reach for. And now we have the item I'm hypothetically most excited about because it's a full-size five-pan Natasha Denona palette. They had a stunning neutral palette, and then they had this. Yeah. I, 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 I honestly, I will try it. I don't even know how to use it. Yes, it does look like Laneige. I was actually really disappointed because this one I did sort of open in advance. Uh, I was really disappointed because I wanted the, um, neutral one, which I did order in pop-up. Okay, and so that is this month's BoxyCharm. 
And to me, it kind of just feels like a miss. I like the inclusion of Natasha Denona. Um, you know what? Let's swatch the palette. I know I'm going to keep it. Uh, I am working on a ranking all my Natasha Denona palettes, so I'm not complaining about having another one. Okay, let's do some swatch. Okay, so that's like a pretty blue. I feel like these colors I'd maybe use on their own, but I just don't really see myself using them as a palette. Oh, Christina, I did not know that you were an MUA. Okay, that yellow, it's like super pale. Um, pink. Pink's nice. And the brown is, of course, my favorite. Just what an odd combo. I think the quality of the shadows, like it's Natasha, no, no, like Natasha never lets us down in that sense. But it's just like, what an odd color combo. Okay, let's remove this from my hand. Oh, it's gonna be such a mess. And then we will return to our commentary. Really into reusable cotton rounds. There we go. It's like all blue. Okay, let me just scroll up a little bit. Yeah, so, mo so back to the big YouTuber comment. Kind of stopped enjoying because we're just being sold. Yeah, like look, like when they have a following and they like and they keep producing the same kind of content they were producing at like 50,000, 75,000, 100,000, then sure, like I'm 100% down to still watch them. I think that's kind of something I enjoy about Ali, but it's just like sometimes I just feel like they like YouTubers can just get so big that they're kind of out of touch with reality, and I also think that people can get divorced from reality when it comes to pricing of products, shipping, um I think when it comes to like one thing that really drives me crazy and I'm not perfect, but I, I try to be is I really hate it when people don't include um, like how much like shipping costs for a normal person to get the product. Also, okay, these flowers are beautiful. Let's move them over. Like I just don't enjoy that. Like I, I saw some reviews on the Samantha Ravendahl collab and the products were gorgeous and I did buy them. I have a video up on it, but the shipping, um, there are no dumb questions. The shipping was so expensive and so awful. And I saw a lot of YouTubers be like, oh my God, I love her so much. Uh, I don't really know how much the shipping costs. And it's like, come on guys, like tell us how much normal people cost. So I just, I like it when I feel like the whole point of YouTube is that we're kind of just normal people who can provide like honest reviews on products and to show you what it looks like and yeah and and so I just think that sometimes when that gap between reality and influencers too big it's like I don't enjoy watching it or if I do it's just for entertainment value like Manny MUA like I I, I don't really follow his reviews but I find him hilarious so okay let's get to the next one um yeah and I will have to try this to do my ranking of Natasha Denona palettes, but I'm pretty sure this palette was just made for BoxyCharm, which I just think is kind of weird. But at least it's Natasha Denona, so we have that going for us. Okay, a little sip. There was two other comments I wanted to address. Let me just scroll up. Okay, so yes, it looks like Laneige packaging, 100% agree. K-Beauty inspired the primer. Okay, good to know. Good to know. And then there was one other comment up here about, T okay, TJ Maxx being the place for body, like, body care. Yes, yeah, so, like, we have Winners, HomeSense. Um, we have, like, yeah, do we have TJ Maxx? Uh, yeah, we do. We have, like, Marshalls um, all under that same umbrella. And, yeah, like, I buy body stuff there, buy hair stuff there. For me, the big one is when, um, like for me, the big one is going to the body shop or Bath and Body Works when they have like, you know, like for either of those, like when they have like big sales, I'll just buy like a lot of them basically. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, like, okay, so cost of bags, like sharing how much bags cost, like I think that's important to me, like because... At the end of the day, like I have a full-time job. I work really hard for my money. Um, I buy 
all of my bags myself. Um, sometimes my husband will buy them from it as a birthday gift or like an anniversary gift. Like I share those Kiragami pochettes with you guys, but like, even if he's buying it for me, like, you know, my husband's a year older than me. It's not like he's 10 years older than me and like miraculously established in his career and is just able to, you know, buy me all of the things. Like I work really hard and, you know, I don't share this a lot on my channel, but like I have a full-time job that I'm very proud of, but outside of my full-time job, I have three freelance clients and I have YouTube. <laughs> so, um, and my YouTube does not make me a lot of money. Like I just make the cutoff for the monthly payment. Basically I get like just over like a hundred bucks a month from YouTube. So clearly YouTube is not paying my bills. Like I save all my YouTube money towards bags. Um, but like I do it as a hobby and as a passion and because I enjoy it. And because quite, especially this year, I'm literally stuck at home and there's actually nothing else I can do. Like in Toronto, in Ontario, like Gracie's in this lockdown too. Like we can't even go to the park with a friend right now. All the stores are closed except for curbside picking. It's like, whatever, it's not ideal. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I, I work really hard for my money and the way I see bags is whether they're Kate Spade, Louis Vuitton, like YSL, like of course my aspirations are like aiming a little higher right now. Um, Chanel and Hermes are calling to me, okay? Um, like that's a huge investment and it's something you're gonna have to save towards. Uh, it's something that, you know, you're gonna enjoy for years to come. And I just think like, just say how much it costs. Like we all know it's expensive. Like just let people know what it actually costs so they can adjust their expectations. And if anyone's gonna judge me for talking about expensive bags on YouTube, like I'm already talking about the expensive bag, like, so. Okay, I like how small YouTubers have a niche and so people are great for skincare and great for Charlotte. Thank you, I love Charlotte. She's my favorite brand and I have to try really hard um, off that. And I just kind of want to make, well, not really. I just really want to make off YouTube. It's like, it's like nothing. <laughs> but um, outside of that, I do have um, a full-time job and my three clients, so. <sighs> so. What, so what what do you hate? I hate it. We don't have to know, but at least give us an idea. My first lecture will be Louis Vuitton. Right now I can only do Coach or Kate Spade. And you know what? That's fine. Like I was at a point in my life when I could only buy outlets like Kate Spade and Coach. And then I sort of got to a point where I could do like a regular Kate Spade and Coach. And I still enjoy Kate Spade. I still buy Kate Spade. I still don't really buy a lot of Coach. Um, it's not like my favorite, but uh, you know. I just, I like, I would like to get a Coach Cassie if I found the right color, but I just haven't found the right color in it. And I just refuse to buy anything I don't love. And we'll get back to the boxes in a second. Um, But like, yeah, I don't know. Just at the end of the day, like, I like luxury is different things for different people at different times in life. And that's okay. And like, everything is wonderful. Okay, let's see. Uh, dream bag, trendy CC. Yes, I would love a trendy CC. If I have a child, that'd be a good investment piece. Love it. I am trying to enjoy buying bags before my husband and I start a family because I feel like once I have a kid, I'm going to be like buying all of the cutest baby clothes and it's going to be such a problem for me, especially if it's a girl. I may have already purchased a bag for a future daughter. I'm not, not going to talk about that right now. Um, okay. Yeah. Like a lot of people want to have a channel for money and not for content. The way I kind of see it is produce good content and money will follow. When I start, like I was on YouTube for probably three years before I got even like my first AdSense payment. And now, honestly, I just, every time I get my AdSense payment, I just save it and I put it in my purse account and together it just, you know, it all kind of helps. And like, I think it'd be super, super cool. If one day, if I had a channel that could make like 500 bucks a month, I would call that a huge win. Like putting towards bags, I'd be a happy camper. A uh, dream bag from 16 is a elite speedy white monogram. Yes, I support that. I support that. Oh, I know it, it would be bad, but amazing. One day, but uh, yeah, I, I may have obtained a nano speedy which I will use myself now. 
but it like matches my bag. Okay, so let's look at this next boxy charm. This is a bigger one. And then we will get back to, yeah, a so first of all, a beauty YouTube channel is not the most affordable to start. And a luxury handbag channel is definitely not the most affordable to start. I think there's more you can do in beauty with less money. But, you know, for me, like, I've always kind of had a big makeup collection. So it just kind of happened. And now I get to talk about purses, too. Okay, so this is a bigger one. So let's see what we got going on here. So this is a boxy premium. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. We have this beautiful piece of packing paper. I think it'd be so fun to have a girl. I think the other thing that, I mean, I'd love your thoughts in the comments because I have not made up my mind on this. My husband and I are not starting a family for a year or two or three or four. Like, not right now. I have some career stuff I want to do. I'm happy with where we are. And I had a bunch of trouble and that the pandemic kind of ruined, so I want to travel a little bit more. But I'd love your thoughts on like, do you do, do, you do like a separate channel when that happens or can I just incorporate it on here? Just let me know. I'd love to know what you guys think. Like you guys get annoyed by that kind of content. Okay, so first up we have the Coral Palette from Natasha Denona. So off to a good start because we have a Natasha Denona palette. So let's swatch these really quick. Ooh, I love Natasha's shimmers. Got like a burgundy color. So that's the swatches on that one. I think that is infinitely more wearable than the Easter. I'm just gonna call it the Easter egg palette. What's it called? This one's called Jubilee Easter egg, as far as I'm concerned. So the coral palette, I think that is pretty. I think I could wear that. Like that would work. Okay, I'm glad that you say incorporate it because that's kind of how I feel. Like, I don't know. I feel at the end of the day that like my channel started off as just beauty. And as I grew, I'm just gonna like remove this. As I grew in my life and could start to talk about handbags, I did that. And I just, at the end of the day, I kind of think of my channel as like women's interest, kind of like, like I don't know, like a women's interest magazine almost where it's, you know, I, I look at my demographics. It's like 98% women or something who watch me. Um, and I, I don't know, I, just, I like all girly things, so. That would be so fun. This is from March and I got the concealer. Okay, good. Because why would they put a card in there that told me? That told me. Yes, incorporate. I love your content. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad that you guys think that because that was kind of where I was leaning. Again, like we're not there right now, but it's just always something kind of in the back of my mind when like as life changes come, like how do you share that? And I, I don't know, I think you guys make a good point. It's your channel. It's your life. Just makes sense. I love that. And like, you know, we're not there right now, but it's just... It's kind of something, you know, I'm always sort of thinking about, like, what what that next part will look like. And I don't know. I think I love handbags. I love makeup. Uh, if we weren't in a pandemic, uh, I love travel. And I think that those things all kind of go together. And, like, I like kids. I just don't have any. But I have cats. I love my cats. Okay. So next up from Wonder Beauty, Do Not Disturb. Overnight repair and concentrate. Okay, so this excites me, also scares me. Um, I tried a new skincare product last month and it like broke me out down here. It was not a pretty look. And so I'm kind of nervous. Okay, can I even open this thing? Like, come on. So I'm a little nervous um, about using anything that sounds intense right now. I've been using just like the most gentle products from Emberlease which I did film my skincare routine. Oh, this is from Wander Beauty. I'm just trying to open it. My nails are just like, no, it won't work. Um, but yeah, anyways, I've been using a lot of products from Emberlease. It's a French skincare brand to kind of repair my skin. It's worked very well. So this is the Wander Beauty product. It's their Do Not Disturb Overnight Repair Concentrate Retinoid. Okay, I'm not gonna try this because I haven't decided if I'm keeping it, if I'm passing it on, or if it'll show up in a giveaway. Um, I'm kind of, I'm very happy and peaceful with where my skincare collection's at right now. And I just don't want to experiment, okay? It, I did not enjoy that reaction. It did not make me want to film. Okay, so this is from the Your Incredible Crystal Ball Roller Gloss Duo. So I think these had like a moment on YouTube or something. 
no problem. Uh, let's, okay, I'm definitely gonna keep these. Let's try them. Let's try these out. Guys, the worst part about going live is when it's all over and then I have to like clean up all the packaging I throw on the floor. Okay, so these are sticky. This is fun. This is fun. See, it's like, I can't grip it. Okay, there we go. Smells good. It has like little amethysts in it. It's like a lure ball. It's nice. But it's like, there's like product all over my hands from it. So, maybe room to improve the packaging on that one. Let me just wipe off my fingers. They're all like sticky now. Um, okay, so next up, uh, so this was a product I got to pick and I did pick the color and it is from Fenty Beauty, their Soft Matte Foundation Pro Filter. And uh, let's, there we go, a nice pasty shade to match me. So I will be keeping this, let's, come on, you can do it. Is this the primer? No, it's not the primer. Okay, it's like, it was like nothing came out. It was like no coverage. I think there's something wrong with this. There's like no, there's no coverage. You guys seen that? Feels like a primer. This is so weird. I have not experimented with this. Let's see. Oh yeah, no, they sent me the primer. Okay. Yeah, I swatched this and they sent me the primer. I'm gonna have to email them. It's not even so dewy. It's literally just the primer. I've read it on the back. It says soft matte pro filter instant retouch primer. Okay, I'm gonna have to email them because this was supposed to be the foundation in my color. Well, I'm glad we discovered this together. No, it no, it wasn't because we got, I'm pretty sure, we'll double check the other boxes, but I'm pretty sure it's one where we got to like pick our foundation color. Okay, and so that was this box. Um, really, really hoping that my foundation is in here because, yeah. Okay, so, so I drop all things. Uh, another boxy charm. Okay. Oh, I had a thing fall. This is BoxyCharm Luxe, and I just had the thing fall. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Guys, that was my bad. Oh, thank. Okay. I just read this, and it says the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Okay. This is good. That was my mistake, but also on them, because, like, Please put cards in this so we know what we're getting. Like, I noticed the premium ones get a card. Okay, so I feel so much better now. I was so disappointed. But now I'm really happy because I have the primer that matches the foundation. Okay, so off the bat, we have the Barbella palette. Barbarella palette. And I'm just going to guesstimate that this is bright and bold and not up my alley. Any takers? Okay, let's see and let's just open it together yeah exactly. okay so i'm much happier now okay so we have a neutral palette with a random pop of blue it doesn't look bad i don't hate it what do you guys think hmm. i think i'll probably rehome this palette only because um i have a lifetime supply of Charlotte. Yeah, it's not, it's like, it's not terrible. But I've got my Charlotte palettes and I have my Natasha Denona palettes and I just like them better. Yeah, like minus the blue, not bad. I think that might be, maybe not a giveaway. I don't know. I might rehome it to a friend. I don't know. Okay, so next up we have the Soleil. Let Your Hair Shine Mini Heat Brush. Yeah, like it's not like a wow, but it's like this mini heat brush. 
This would be great for on the go if I want to like touch up like around here. Um, but I've got like a lot, like, a lot going on here. Um, but this is super cute. The other options, by the way, for selection were like garbage, <laughs> like literally garbage. So I'm just happy I got this one. Yeah, I actually probably already have. Now that I have the foundation, actually, I probably have enough products to do a full face. So I will keep that in mind if you guys want to see a full face of Fenty. Um, I got, I tried their first foundation that was like the matte and it like was super drying. So I'm excited about the soft matte. I have the heat brush and I have thin hair and it doesn't work. How much does a box like that cost? Okay. If someone can help me with the prices in there, I think, I think the Lux is like 30, 35 US dollars. I think it works out to like just shy of 50 Canadian. Um, which is why it's like you want to be sure on the pricing. Okay, so next up we have the Beauty Bakery, and I've seen other people open this. And these are little face sponges that are shaped like eggs. Yeah, it's not like crazy. Like it's, you're definitely getting a good value. It's just, are you actually going to use the products? So it looks like a little carton of eggs. There we go. That's the pricing. So these are like little Easter egg sponges. So I will definitely try these out because, you know, having more sponges doesn't hurt. You know, I'll take it. Whatever. It's useful. Okay, we've got a couple more things in here. Let me just grab them. Okay, so we have from Amy. A Kiss the Stars 24K Gold Lip Plumping Mask. It's like a gold jelly. Let's swatch it. I have no desire to put this on my lips. At all. Okay. That feels kind of weird. It's a like gold glitter. That's a lip mask. I don't think... I don't think that's my style. Oh, also I, I wiped it off and there's like all this glitter left on my hand. Okay, that is not good. No, I'm not interested in that one, no thanks. Okay, Dominique Cosmetics. So this is an interesting one. Bigger influencer, does it smell? Yeah. I would describe the smell as homemade Play-Doh. Homemade Play-Doh. Yeah, it's like, do you see it? Is this showing up on camera? Do you see that glitter? Yeah, it smells like homemade Play-Doh. <laughs> okay, so Dominique Cosmetics. So I have tried a Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss, which I got in a boxy charm, and I actually quite enjoyed it. Let's go about, you know, some more. Okay, so this is like a... Actually, I think I'd probably get some use out of this. Let's watch it. Okay, so we've got just like a nudie pink lip liner. Um, kind of like a sharp, sort of like a, a um, goof proof kind of shape tip from Benefit. So, yeah, I like her last formula. I'm not opposed to her eyeshadow palettes. I'm not, I so I used to, I don't know if be a fan is the right word. I'm not really like a fan I don't know. I don't really think of myself as like a fan of anybody. I don't know. I don't, I just either like people like watching people or I don't. Um, but I'm not really like a huge like fan of anyone. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. There are people I like watching. I'm, so anyways, I was never really a huge fan of hers, but I did subscribe back when she was like the Ipsy, one of the Ipsy sort of spokespeople. And so, like, I'm happy for her that she's doing well. Um, okay. Rose Quartz Hair Mask. Okay, so... Can I open this? Ow! That hurt. Okay, let's smell it. So, I'm usually pretty open to hair masks. It's very weird. Doesn't smell bad. Kind of a weird-looking texture. 
looks very whipped. I don't know. We'll try it. I'm pretty open on hair masks. Uh, what does it say? Hair mask loves deeply, transcend dry damage, and break it to experience soft, silky shine. Refresh and rejuvenate your mind, hair, and spirit with a daily to weekly treatment while meditating in aromas of rose water and sweet violet. One of the direct, so the direct generously apply half inch from roots to tip and massage gently. Be mindful of your solitude. So we have to be mindful of our solitude. That's the second step. Finger comb through, then clip up away from the water. I do all that. I do that all the time. Breathe deeply. Repeat loving affirmations for two to five minutes. I'm awesome. I deserve self-care on a bad day. Cry it out. Rinse mask off, but not with cool water okay that's that's interesting okay that's like that's yeah okay interesting not really my style but okay so now we've done glow recipe this was kind of like the big hype product of this box and i will say overall like for the this product and the fenty foundation like kind of worth it um i will be keeping this one this is the hyaluronic serum Let's Okay, so I love serums. Not too much of a smell. So that's what the serum looks like on my hand. Definitely looking forward to enjoying this one. I just have to, I want to use up some of the serums I already have on the go. Uh, yeah, it's every quarter. It's like, yeah, so it's like every three months. Okay, and then Fenty Beauty from Rihanna. Now we have the foundation. That was my mistake earlier. Yeah, the packaging is stunning. Okay, so let's, there we go. There is the pasty foundation to match me. Not a bad match. I'm definitely excited to play with that. And guys, thank you so much for helping with the pricing while we are live. Um, Cause normally when I film, like I, like I can just kind of say something and then research it and then like restart the camera. But it's kind of hard for me to like research it while, while I'm here. So I appreciate the research support. Okay, and this box is now empty. Okay, so now we've got our last boxy, and then we also have a FabFitFun order, which is kind of funny and kind of sad. Okay, so this is a boxy charm premium, and we have a little thing here. Okay, so this is March. This is March. Okay, very good. And in one of the months, it's totally hiding right now. One of the months I got a Murad, um, like a spray on serum, but my cat saw the pile of boxes. Okay, so yeah, in one of the boxes, which I don't think it was this month, um, I did get this Murad hydration uh, toner, which is really nice. And after I had kind of cut all the boxes open, Winston thought it'd be really fun to jump on the pile, and this fell out. I was going to Google it, but since I'm in bed and the whole house is sleeping, I thought it's okay, I'll see it later. But we're having a good group of people on your channel, love it. Thank you. I like the people on my channel. I think they're pretty awesome. I'll, I'll keep them around. I mean, on one hand, I don't really have a choice, like, who watches my channel. But I think we've got, like, a really great community. And I think we've got some great people. So, And it's always really fun when I see you guys comment, especially, like, when I see consistent commenting. Like, because then I recognize your names and, like, what you like. It's just, like, it's just nice, you know? It's, like, it's fun for me. Okay, so... We have the Hangover Good To Go. Okay, so I've got an interesting one about this. So we have the Hangover Some Too Faced Good To Go uh, Skin Protecting SPF 25 Moisturizer. So I'm actually really excited about this because this product is not sold at Canadian Sephora. Yes, I love our little family on the channel. And I just hope that as we grow, we just keep getting more awesome people. You know, I just, I just, I just, I like hanging out with you guys on live. I like seeing you guys in the comments. Like, it's just... I don't know, I like you guys. So this is from Too Faced, and it's an SPF 25 
moisturizer. And SPF products are not, um, a lot of brands who have SPF products in the States don't sell them in Canada because we have a different, um, like Health Canada basically has a different like regulatory process and it's a lot of work and it's a lot of money and the Canadian market is so much smaller than the US. So a lot of brands are just like, no, we're not going to go through with that. So to get this is something I can't otherwise try. So that is a win in my books. Yeah, like I didn't know it existed. Exactly. Exactly. One second. Okay. Okay. Beauty Diva London. Never heard of this brand. It is brushes. Okay, these are actually kind of cute. So we've got like four little eye brushes. I feel like this is something I will pass on. I will help it find a new home because I am actually, one thing I'm trying to do is sort of cut down on the number of brushes that I have. You know what, now that we're, let's, let's just move these peonies over so that way they can get a little bit of attention. There's one more thing back there I'll show you guys. Okay, much better. You know, let's like have, have some cute stuff going on. Let's open up to like that one, the white one. There we go. <sighs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna rehome these. I'm not sure if it'll be a giveaway. This also, like a little brush like this, is the kind of thing that is perfect to um, hold on to. Like I like to give boxes to women who live in shelters uh, over Christmas, and so I like to kind of put together like everything they need in one bag. So I might hold on to it for that. Fenty Skin Tan has SPF. So sometimes what they'll do is if a product has SPF, they won't advertise the SPF in Canada. So brands make different choices. Like it's not that it's illegal to sell products with SPF. They just can't make claims basically without it being backed up. So Gracie, I don't know what you've seen, but I don't think I've seen the tinted, like the Fenty Skin Tint, which I do want to try. Um, I don't think I've seen that advertised with having SPF. I would research that now, but I cannot. Okay, so from a brand called Glow, we have the Hydra Bright Alpha Drops. So I, again, am really picky about what I'm going to introduce into my skincare routine right now. And I feel like this just doesn't make the cut for me. So, sorry. That one, I'm just not going to. We've got three more products in here. We've got Real Her, a lip liner duo. Okay, gotta be honest, I only see Real, I don't know about you guys, I only see Real Her in box, like boxes and like Ipsy and BoxyCharm. So I'll open up one of them. Okay, it's just like a pretty basic lip liner. I'm not gonna swatch these because I think that these will also just get rehomed. Because again, I just, I basically only wear like two and a half shades of lip liner. So the other thing I really try to do, not even with PR really, but especially with products I get in subscription boxes is I just try to be very mindful about what I actually open and use. Like I've got a huge makeup collection and I have so many products that I don't use enough as it is that I don't want to just like start a whole bunch of new products that ha will have to be thrown out. So if I'm not like immediately excited about it from a subscription box, it gets rehomed. And from a brand called Roan, I feel like I recognize that brand. It's Kiss My Char Charlie. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is like a lip gloss. I totally am blanking where I recognize this brand from. Yes. That's cute. I could use that. Let's try this. Nice little doe foot. Oh no, no, this will not work for me. Okay, so I've just smelled it and it has that very strong pepperminty scent to it. And it's super pretty, but it has that really strong peppermint scent. So I know it's going to be one of those like plumping glosses. And I hate the tingly feeling of a plumping gloss on my lips. I don't know about you guys, but like I'll put it on and for I've tried so many different brands of that and I'll have it on. I'm just gonna like make some space here. So I'll have it on and I will tell myself, I'll like, I'll try to like convince myself. We'll try to be like, 
Oh no, it's okay. This one's different. It won't hurt you. This is good. Everyone likes this for a reason. And it'll always just end with my lips just feeling tingly and awful. And then I like literally wipe it off after about 85 seconds. And I love that. I love that other people are able to enjoy that. And I wish them all the best of luck with it. But like even like Too Faced, which is a brand that sends me like, you know, a pretty good amount of PR. Um, actually, they recently sent me this bear. It's a backpack. It had a palette in it and it had a lip oil and I just find them painful and it, but it's not just Too Faced it's like every brand I just don't like them but I'm glad that other people like them you know yeah I actually haven't I don't think I've tried the Charlotte Minty Gloss I might have I might have but I I just don't do I just don't do minty glosses you know, I think we learn what works for us and what doesn't, and that doesn't work for me. Okay, so I'm going to show you my next box and tell you a really kind of sad story. Okay, so as things fall, let me just make sure my address is not on this side. Of course my address is on that side. Let's try that again. Okay, so I have this, like, massive box of FabFitFun, and I ordered it in... Sorry for all the background noise. Let's try that again. So I have that massive box of FabFitFun. And yeah, so I don't mind the Dior one. The Dior one is one of the plumpy things that I've used and I don't feel it. That might be the only exception. But yeah. Anyway, so I have this like massive box that I just showed you of FabFitFun things. And I ordered them because um, we were at this time in the lockdown where you could still see people outside. And my friend Madeline, who I'm, she might be watching, she might not be watching, I don't really know. But I'm gonna tell you what, what we're gonna do after. But my friend Madeline, uh, she lives, like she's like uh, literally less than 100 meters from me. She lives like the building, like I, I can look out my window and see her building. So she lives super close. And one thing that we've done a lot of during the pandemic is, sorry. <laughs> One thing we've done a lot of during the pandemic is go on like a weekly walk. And we kind of joke that we're each other's only friend because like, because we can walk outside and we're not like leaving the area. We would just kind of walk together to shoppers and like buy a lipstick, go to Dollarama and walk back. And it was kind of like exercise since all the gyms are closed, and, like friend time. And it's just, you know, it's just really nice. Um, also, let me know if you guys want to see this in the little Hermes bag back there. Um, anyway, so we would just kind of go for a walk and we were, we would kind of say, um, I don't know how we got to this point, but we would kind of just always say, cause there's a really cute park that we often walk through near us and her fiance she lives with and my husband, I live with, it's kind of the thing you do when you're married and, uh, <laughs> okay, I'll open it. It didn't buy anything. It's just like, it's just some cute little samples. Um, but we, I do have an Hermes unboxing coming next week though. Um, yeah. And like, it's like a bubble lifestyle. Yeah. Like it's just like close, convenient, fun, healthy. And so we would kind of talk about how in the spring, like it'd be so nice to have a picnic and we could bring the guys. And then we started off with this plan talking about like actually like making things for a picnic. But then we decided we were going to have a pizza picnic where we just, there's like five pizza places within a few feet of us, basically. <laughs> Um, where we just decided we would just buy a pizza and sit in the park with our guys and just eat pizza and hang out. So I was super inspired by that moment. And also the week before I made this order, my friend Alex, uh, she has a baby who's super cute. And so me, Alex and Alex's baby were hanging out in the park. We had like a picnic and I made clotted cream and scones. I did like a little vlog about it. And so I was like, you know what? Like, cottage core is kind of a thing like let's kind of make this like a spring of picnics so what makes it really sad is literally the next week um you're now until at least the middle of may i think i, I honestly sometimes it's hard to fall but it's sometimes kind of hard to remember now because it's always changing but i think it's until the middle of may like you're not allowed to have gatherings in parks and like a gathering could even be like like is like seeing anyone from outside of your household so 
you're not allowed to like see your friends in the park or go for a walk with them. So I don't know if we're gonna have spring picnics, but I'm gonna show you what I bought for my spring picnics. So I bought this beautiful lightweight throw blanket. It was, like, describes like an outdoor blanket. So, so pretty. And I was like, well, my husband and I could like sit on this for like our friend's picnic. But let's open it up. I don't even know why he put it in the bag. Ooh. So yeah, it's not like super soft. It's very like um like a, a textile. Yeah, until May 20th. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, so it's like this like nice thick, like woven, like see how nice that is? Like blanket. And so I was thinking that my husband and I would like sit on it, like maybe my friends would bring their own blanket, and then we just like have a little picnic. So yeah. 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 So this is my picnic blanket. Notice, do you notice a style trend? Do you notice, do you notice something I like? Do you notice a color scheme? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and in my mind, I was like, I'll bring the Kate Spade bag, I'll put like tulips in it, and it'll be like very French. So yeah. I when I say I love blue and cream, like I really mean it. So for our picnic. Yeah, let's talk about Fab Fit Fun After because I also want to talk about um my challenges with boxy charm. Okay. So for our picnic that we were going to have, I then bought this beautiful little cooler. Look at that. Look at that cooler from Business and Pleasure. It's like pink and white. It would look so cute on my picnic blanket. And I was like, well, I could put like a whole bunch of like drinks in here for us and like little snacks and it would just look so cute. So I have our little, you know, to go with our picnic that I can't have. Yay. Yay. <sighs> also, thank you. Glad you like my makeup today. Okay, so then there's a lot of hype in FabFitFun world about fun hides, which are just like supposed to be like really soft blankets. So let's, this is like packed like really firmly. So let's open it up. And then, yeah, I want to talk about my challenges with BoxyCharm and why I love FabFitFun. I think these two things go hand in hand. Of course, I can't open this one. Okay. There we go. Okay, does it come? They pack that really firm. Okay, that is very soft. Yeah, these are like really trend. Ooh, and it's big. Oh my. This is so soft. Okay. I can appreciate why these are hyped up. So yeah, this is the blanket. So excited about that. Okay, and then the last thing I bought, just give me a second to grab it because there's a lot of them. Okay, so I've told you guys about a thousand times <laughs> that I really like using um, reusable cotton rounds to remove my makeup and do my toner because it's money saving, it's good for the planet, it feels great on my face. And in a FabFitFun, I wanna say two seasons ago, so most of my reusable cotton rounds are from Amazon. And they've been kind of hit and miss. I bought from a few different sellers, they're okay. Um, or I thought they were great until I got the Daily Concept one in a FabFitFun, I wanna say winter. And I just fell in love with them. They're so soft, easy to work with. I was obsessed. So they had individuals available, maximum of three. So I purchased three more. So each of these comes with um, five rounds. I find you want to have like, for me, I probably want to have about 30 or 40. So that way I can tone and remove my makeup and just do everything at once. So I bought three more. But then they had sets of three available. So I bought another set of three. <clears throat> that, that didn't happen. And then I bought another set of three. And then I bought another set of three. 
<laughs> so I think I'm good on reusable cotton rounds now. Those ones are my favorite. I've been searching the pop-up and the add-ons for a while. So I'm not obsessed. Let me open one up. It's not an obsession. No. Okay, so each of them comes with a little bag, which I probably don't need 15 of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm good forever, okay? Laundry day is going to be once a month. And, okay, so what I like about these ones is they do get softer, but the little ones are soft on both sides. And the big ones are a little texture on one side, but soft on the other. And I really like the soft side. I don't really care for the textured side, but on the big ones, there's so much space on the soft side that... Like, I can definitely remove my whole face of makeup with them. So, I am more than stocked up. I like to use the big one, the big square ones for makeup, and the little round ones for toner. So, I have a lifetime supply of those now. Let me see. if Is my other bag an easy reach? No. Okay, I have one more thing I want to show you guys. And then we're going to begin my verbal essay on FabFitFun and things like that. Can I reach it? Can I see it? No. Here we go. Okay, I have like one more of these, but I could drop. This is wonderful. Please don't be broken. Okay. Okay. This is great. Okay, this is good. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so we're gonna talk about add-ons. So there's a brand called Lila B and kind of newish to Sephora, but has been available at Holt Renfrew for quite a while. Their eyeshadow palettes are $86. Might be $85, but they're like $85, $86. They were available as an add-on in FabFitFun for $12. So I bought the palette in every color. I also bought it. There's also a pink one. And the pink one is uh, over there where I have a bin. Um, one video that I want to do for you guys is a full face of like clean at Sephora Browns. So yeah. I'm gonna use that eyeshadow palette. And then I also got this, I got two little lip and cheek duos. Let's tap that on. Let's try it out. So yeah, I got two little lip and cheek duos as I get it on the thing. And the lip and cheek duos were like $6, so. Yeah, so, okay, pros of, yes, they are luxury, clean beauty, like, the packaging, it's so substantial, like, it, like, it has, like, a nice heft to it, it's beautiful, um, I, re I got the, sort of, the nudie pink palette, loved it, I wore it, I don't know how I wore my camera, but that's okay, it, it's gonna be the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use, and I did actually buy it because I'm planning that video. So here's my challenge with BoxyCharm. The add-ons are so amazing. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did um, a huge haul of like Natasha Denona blushes and quads, like amazing, like truly incredible. Like they were so, so beautiful. Um, and I'm using them and I'm testing them so I can do that video for you guys. Uh, I wanna do a full face of Kosas Beauty and I got, all but one of the products I need to do a full face of Kosas, I got from BoxyCharm add-ons. It, I think the whole face cost me like 25 US dollars, which for me, like it just makes it so much more accessible for me to showcase the brand. Um, so I don't really think I'm like Kosas's like girl, you know, I'm not super, I'm not against clean and green beauty. It's just not kind of my niche, you know, like I'm more just like general luxury and the add-ons like, incredible pricing, pretty great selection. Like it's, it's amazing. Like I, I love the add-ons on BoxyCharm. I don't love the base boxes <laughs> at all. Um, like it's basically what'll happen is I'll be subscribed and then I will unsubscribe. And then a month or two later, like, and I don't even miss it, but then a month or two later, they'll be like, oh, like Natasha Denona palette in the box. And I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll resubscribe. So what I did is I, have so at one point I did have all three subscriptions. Um, right now I have the base. I'm skipping. 
is it Lux is the next one? And I'm keeping whichever one is quarterly because I really like the selections I made for May. After May, I'm gonna drop the quarterly and just get the base box because what I've determined with BoxyCharm is I'm consistently disappointed or like consistently there's like one product I like and the rest of it I'm kind of like, eh, nah, meh. Like I'm just kind of not into it. So what I'd rather do is take the money that I'm spending on the higher tier box and take the money even that I'm spending on the quarterly box and allow myself to just order the add-ons I want. Because every single time I've been so much happier with my add-ons, like Natasha Denona blush duos, Lila B, Kosas, like who doesn't want more of that stuff? And then, yeah, it might cost like a little bit more, I guess in the sense of like, if I had gotten it in the box, but it just, the boxes have been such a gamble. And then what happens like you unsubscribe and then they just sucker you back in a few months later. So I'm kind of over BoxyCharm, but I'm really, really into their add-ons. So what I'd rather just do is get the regular BoxyCharm and view it almost as like the admission price to getting the add-ons. And then what I'd like to do with my boxies is either A, like unbox them on like, I do a lot of unboxings on um, Instagram Live as like a, I don't know, just like a fun, fun thing, you know? It, and so it's like fun content for me. And then um, I can also put a lot of things aside for charity at Christmas. So that's, I think what I'm gonna do with my boxy subscription because it's kind of just overwhelming and the boxes, like, I hope you've seen this video, the boxes just arrive and it's like, you never know what month it is and like the shipping is terrible and yeah. Meanwhile, with Ipsy, oh, also like I never, it's like because it's a monthly full-size subscription, it just feels like I'm drowning in products. And then it's like, for me, I don't really feel like I get a chance to enjoy them. And then I've also got PR coming in. And then like, there's also products as a consumer that I want to buy. So it just, like, it truly feels like too much. So that's sort of where I'm at on BoxyCharm. I'm going to save FabFitFun for the end because one, I love them, but two, to me, like they're kind of in a different category. So in terms of Ipsy, um, I love Ipsy. And partly because there are like the, a lot of products are deluxe samples, partly because the bags are so cute and it's just fun. So right now I have an Ipsy subscription and then I have an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus subscription. And then I also get an Ipsy and a Glam Bag Plus in PR. And I'm pretty happy with that. I love Ipsy. I've been like Ipsy, I've been consistently subscribed to like basically forever. <laughs> and at times, more than once I've had multiple Ipsy subscriptions and I'm super excited because I'm getting the Glam Bag X next month and I am just like so excited. It feels like a great value, great brand. I just feel like Ipsy is better curated than BoxyCharm. Boxy just kind of feels random. Like, you know, like look at the palettes, like the palettes are, like the palettes we get in BoxyCharm are just so random, right? Whereas um, the palettes that I could get in my um, Ipsy X next month, I could get Soft Glam, I could get a uh, Patrick Star palette, which I really don't want. Um, I have to be honest though, I actually don't want any more eyeshadow palettes. Like I love the eyeshadow palettes I have. I'm much more into complexion and like hair care right now. I feel like that's kind of where I'm at. And there's like an Olaplex product I might get. So I, I just feel like Ipsy is just so much better curated. I feel like I'm more excited for the products. Ipsy does suffer from something that all subscription boxes suffer from, which is some brands that are just either like overdone in subscription boxes or only available there. But I don't know, that's kind of how subscription boxes work. And like to me, those subsidize me getting like Tarte or, I mean, I will say get a lot of Natasha Denona and BoxyCharm, so I'm not complaining about that. But like those brands kind of subsidize me getting like Tarte benefit. Um, there's gonna be Charlotte Tilbury in the next one, um, in the Glam Bag X. It subsidizes me getting, I don't know, just like stuff I actually want. Tatcha, I've got tons of Tatcha products. So yeah. So I'd say, yeah, I'm very, very happy with Ipsy. And because the products are mini, if I'm not in love with it, like it's just, or if I'm not that into it, it's just easier to pass on. Okay, so can you leave a link for Chic Beauty Box? Because I do not have that one. And I love NARS. Okay. 
Okay. FabFitFun. So I am an annual subscriber to FabFitFun, which means once a year I get a painfully large credit card charge of like 180 US dollars, um, which is painful because that's like 250 Canadian or something like needless like that. I mean, not 250, but it's like 230. Anyways, it's a lot. Like it's, it's painful. Um, but with FabFitFun, when you're an annual subscriber, I think, I think honestly being an annual subscriber is the only way to do it. Because if you're an annual subscriber to FabFitFun, then you get to pick nearly everything in your box. Like you get to pick like five things. And, and FabFitFun has recently expanded. I don't think this is expanded for seasonal subscribers, but for annual subscribers like myself, it has expanded it um, so that you can pick every single item in your box. And if you don't want an item, you can basically reject it and you and have like an add on credit for a certain amount of money, which I think is awesome because I love FabFitFun. Like I like that there's makeup options, but for me in FabFitFun, I nearly always avoid the makeup options only because um, you know, you guys know I really don't have a lot of makeup and I really, really suffer for not receiving makeup. Um, it's, I suffer greatly. I, this drawer here is not full of makeup. This drawer, not full of makeup still in the box. This drawer underneath it, not full of makeup. This box, definitely no makeup there that pile <laughs> definitely 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 no makeup there no no -uh. this thing here pencils not makeup <laughs> i'm kidding um so for me i just i feel like i obviously receive a lot of makeup already have a lot of makeup and i'm gonna add more of this lip because i really like it i just i just i'm much more interested in their lifestyle items like in the last um i do unbox my fabfitfun on my igtv and in my last one <laughs> One of the items I got that I was super into, I'm like really loving this lip balm. I think it's so beautiful. It looks so dark, but like on the lips, I think it is so beautiful. Sorry. <laughs> I don't, I'm not distracted. I think it's just so pretty. I kind of love it. Um, Like I got these little coasters and they're super cute. Got them, like pillows, blankets. Like I just feel like... FabFitFun is more of a lifestyle box, you know, and obviously it's how they build themselves. And I just kind of love it. Um, the add-ons in FabFitFun, I never order, ever. Um, but I I mean, kind of the trap I fall into uh, as somebody who has an annual subscription is because I pay for it all at once in the fall, then spring comes around and I'm like, oh, well, I'm not, not being charged for this, so. I already paid for it. So let's just add $50 in add-ons. Um, thank you. I'm I'm really liking this a lot. Like a lot. Like I'm I'm really into this. Um, but yeah, I just so I just end up adding on a lot of add-ons. But I always love them. I've gotten so many great things. Um, I had an idea for a video actually. I would hello. I would love your thoughts. Um, what would you guys think of a video about like all of the FabFitFun products of last year that I still use. Because I have tons of them that I use all the time. Some are kind of garbagey, like that cactus mug last time. That was awful. But there are tons of products that I use all the time. So let me know if you'd find that interesting. But yeah, anyways, that is my view on subscription boxes in general. Um, I think FabFitFun is just consistently great. So let me know, you know if you guys have any questions. And then I think we'll wrap this up. I think we've covered a lot of content the floor around me guys guys there are so many boxes so much garbage i have so much work tonight i did buy the flowers because i'm going to film tomorrow it would be helpful that plant light look cute use my mirror every day yes yes okay i was like i was like what plant what plant thing yeah so okay so i have the plant light and i use it all the time um, next week, I believe. Oh, yes, Hermes. Okay. Okay. I, I forgot. I'm sorry. We're gonna. Okay, so 
Gracie, question. Top 10 FabFitFun add-ons. Would you want that like forever or for each season? Um, okay, so let me know. Um, we will open this Hermes. I'm sorry, I forgot. Hermes, don't be mad at me. Okay. Um, yeah, so where's I going with this? Um, the plant light. I use it all the time. My husband, I'm going to do a vlog of my, yes, forever, top 10 of all time. That can be done because um, I actually have been making that list. I'm like, would I even watch this? But I think it'd be good to show that like sometimes, yes, you do get junk. Sometimes you get junk this year. Okay. I'll keep both of these things in mind. Um, I'll see how much of a list I can come up with. Um, I think sometimes you do get junk, but I think also you can get really great items that you use for years to come. And I just think that with subscription boxes, if you are not open to getting junk, which I don't even know if it's really junk, it's just stuff that's not to your taste. Like if you're not open to receiving new products that you don't 100% get to pick, then a subscription box is not for you. But if you're open to trying new things and enjoying new things and not that picky, like you can have a lot of fun. I think it's just a question of how open you are. Um, like that little basil light, I was kind of like, this is a little dumb when I was picking it, but nothing else really appealed to me. And that basil light is plugged in. We use it all the time. Um, we have a little basil plant in it and we have chives. My husband loves having chives. He's kind of the cook in our family, family of two plus two cats in our home. He's the cook. I try to be a cook. Okay. I'm a really awesome beauty blogger. I am not an awesome cook. Trade-offs. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love the little light. It's been really great. It's been a lot of fun to have yeah, and stuff to give to friends and family. I love it. Like, sometimes, like, I have a bin of FabFitFun items that I think are awesome. Like, for example, there's a charcuterie board I got last year, which was super cute. I have about 85 charcuterie boards, including one that is marble and wood and shaped like a cat. For my apology, don't judge me. Um, which I got for Christmas for my parents that I picked. And the little charcuterie board, which is so cute, I put aside and I gave it to one of my cousin's wives for Christmas. I gave her some other stuff too, but she loved it, right? So, like, I love... I just love that for fun. Okay, so let's open this little Hermes box. So basically, I picked up something from Hermes last week, and I had just not the best curbside pickup experience, and it just wasn't great. So I called the store to let them know, and then they said to come back, and they had a little bag of goodies for me. So um, first of all, Hermes does it up. So this is... A little this is a little lipstick sample which is a really pretty shade which like they put in this little box which is so cute and then we have another lipstick sample ooh and this is in a really pretty pink and then I'm saving the best stuff for last yeah I love eating too my downfall if we're gonna be honest is ordering takeout and Okay, you cannot talk about going to Portugal. That is not okay because I cannot travel right now. And while I know that Spain and Portugal are different places, I was in the south of Spain like three years ago. The food was amazing. I loved the vibes. We took a boat to Morocco. It was amazing. And I just, just want to be in Europe, okay? I was supposed to go to Italy this summer. And then I got, well, last, I was supposed to go to Italy last summer, it got canceled. And I was supposed to go to Italy this summer, it got canceled. So I'm supposed to go to Italy and Greece next May. And am I going? I don't really know. <laughs> so, yeah. And then they gave me these two little perfume samples. Um, Le Jardin de Monsieur. And Un Jardin sur le Toit. Yes, I know. Different from Spain. But, you know... Compared to where I am, a very similar geographic area, and I feel like the food would have sort of similar influences, you know? Anyways, I will let you go to bed. Let me show you the last two things before you go. We have a little deluxe sample of Twilly. This is one of the Hermes fragrances I've loved to own. It's just a little, see, like that's really cute. As I drop it, one more thing, and then yes. I would love to go to Portugal one day. My brother and his girlfriend went there. And then this little perfume sample. Eau de Merveille. So, okay, the food's different. Good to know. This is good to know. I, I want to eat it. I want to just travel. So, anyways, Christina, good night. Thank you for joining us. For those who are still here, it will just be another few minutes. Unless you guys keep the conversation going. Like, I'm I'm pretty easy. I'm... I have literally no plans. There, there are no plans to have. So Christina, have a good night. 
Thank you for joining us from Portugal. I'm so glad you're able to join in. Okay, let's smell Eau de Merveilles. I don't know how good my French is. Oh, you guys are killing me. I want to travel. <laughs> love you too. Thank you for coming. And again, would love to be in Portugal. I mean, at this point, would love to be in Collingwood. Um, not sure if everyone is familiar with Collingwood, uh, but Collingwood's kind of like a, like a cottage country in Canada. It's like two hours from me. Okay, and let's smell Twilly. Bye. Okay, let's smell Twilly. Okay, we're going to let that sink in and we'll revisit it in a minute. But Twilly is a perfume I would love to have. Like as a full size. Not that I'm not happy to have this one, but... Cool, and then this one, it has like little instructions for how to tie this little, little ribbony thing. So this is fun. Let's let Twilly just settle in. I don't know if you guys have anything else you want to chat about, or if you guys want to get back to your nights, just let me know. But yeah, that is my little gift from Hermes. One day, one day we are going to have a book to unbox on this channel, one day. It's so, so pretty. It's so pretty. So yeah, anyways, these are binoculuses. These are peonies. I'm so excited to have them. Um, yeah, anyway, so that is that is what I got. Um, what else? If you guys are still watching, uh, a couple of things you should check out. Um, bond number nine. Okay, I don't know that one. I will check it out. Um, if you guys, just like as a hint, um, check out my Louis Vuitton Kergami uh, unboxing. Um, there's giveaway there and the other giveaway is in my Sephora haul, FYI. Those are my two little secret giveaways, uh, this month, for my birthday month. My birthday is next week and I will have another giveaway going live next week to sort of celebrate my birthday, but it's just kind of fun to be able to give back and have some fun on the channel. I thought it'd be fun this year instead of like last year, I felt like I kind of advertised the giveaways as being like these like massive giveaways for people to enter. And I felt like a lot of people entered and then didn't really stick around. So I'd rather sort of do like secret giveaways or not like secret, but like giveaways that are a little more subtle. So that way it's more for the people who are here and enjoy being here. So that is what's going on there. So anyways, I think I'm going to let you guys get back to the rest of your nights. But thank you guys for joining me tonight. Oh, I did want to tell you what we're doing for my next live. So I hope you guys don't mind going live sort of every Friday night. Um, because yeah, we'll talk about the pouches because basically my thought is with this pandemic being stuck at home, I realize that not everyone is in Ontario and everyone's stuck at home, but I'm just trying to offer something kind of fun that we can sort of get together and like have a bit of a girl's night. And so my friend Madeline and I, I need to figure out the tech on it. But we are going to go live together next week and we're going to be streaming Zoom to YouTube. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to have the thumbnail up in advance. But we're going to stream Zoom to YouTube. So it's going to be both of us on the screen and we should be able to see the comments coming in. I might have that open on a different monitor. And we are going to be talking about the brands we love, the brands we hate, the brands we're not interested in. It's just make a massive brand roast. So I hope you guys will want to join in on that. Um, but I'm pretty excited. We've been brainstorming like a little shared note uh, that you can share on iPhones with like all the brands we want to talk about and kind of just like buzzwords on what we do or we don't like about them. So I think that's gonna be like a really fun debate. Um, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so that is kind of what's in the works. Um, I'm excited. Let your friends know. Um, we're gonna have wine at that one. I just I told myself I was gonna open a bottle of wine tonight, but I just ended up having Diet Coke. Um, I'm in love with the pouches. I think they're so cute. Um, I'm really glad I got them in the fun color instead of in monogram. So anyways, I think that is everything. I've got lots of videos ready to go live next week. Um, I'm going to do some more filming this weekend. I'm going to try to do that full face of Chanel. I think I do one other full face video. I also just might do like using all the products I got in my home. I haven't really decided, but thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I hope you had fun. I will see you in the next one. In my community tab, that's always where I share info about lives in advance. So thank you guys for coming. I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you have a great weekend. And stay safe and have fun. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.